Hey, how's it going guys? Rolling Origami here. Welcome back to the channel. And as you can see guys, the Digimon map is back out and that only means one thing. We're back with the Digimon TCG. I uploaded the Jasmon deck profile as well as the mail day and I think it did better than I expected. I didn't, I didn't expect so many of you guys to actually want to see like IRL Digimon cards and I guess I actually prepared a little surprise for you guys. I wanted to get it on release date but there were some problems with the supplier. And that is the Digimon TCG EXO3 booster box. So it's in Japanese, I know I can't have played it doing like separate pack openings. Yeah, I realized what's the point. Get in the hype and get it early. I was supposed to get it on release date, but a lot of the person that I pre-ordered from Sally told me that they didn't have stock and I had to wait for the second wave. So I had to find someone else who actually had this ready in stock. And thankfully I got it, but it's a bit later than most people now since I was actually banking on the pre-order to ship. But anyways, it's a pretty cool set. You know, I don't know that much about Digimon TCG. Um, as you know, I, I, I'm pretty new to the whole thing. But this is a dragon theme booster box as I'm told. It looks so good. It actually has the like Agumon, Vmon and Gilmon. And the art's pretty cool. I think, you know, people who actually play the game maybe aren't so excited because it doesn't seem like the cards are very impactful or, or maybe the decks aren't really there for the cards to be applicable in. Um, but in terms of card art, which I like, that's bulk of what excites me about Digimon. It looks pretty exciting. So let's get into it. Um, I'm gonna apologize in advance because I don't know a lot of the, the, the card names. Why am I so bad at this? Okay. I don't know a lot of the Digimon names, so um, forgive me for that. Um, now look at that. This is what the card shops did. Let's put that aside first. We have a, a box topper pack, I think that's what they call it. There's like seven alternate arts and there's only one that's really a uh, chase card. It's the alt art in Imperial Drummond in like the old kind of uh, style. Don't hold too much hope on <laughs> pulling that so we'll get that out of the way. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So usually I think in English there's 24 so I got two boxes just to sort of get the full package I guess and, and get it out of the way, get it out of the system. I think there's supposed to be three SRs in a booster box or somewhere around that and maybe like one or two alternate arts or something like that. I'm excited, don't mind me if I'm bad at um, pack openings, I hope to get better as it goes along but um, I got a letter opener here, I, I tried it out on one of the boxes that I did, hopefully this works. This. Not bad. And let's see what do we get. This is the Vidramon. Um, so just one of the normies as foil instead of I think regular. Um, uncommon, but you know, we'll take that. Don't mind me not knowing the names, you know, but if you know if we hit a big card like an SR, I'll probably look it up. <laughs> this is so horrible. But I'd rather destroy the pack than destroy the cards, you know what I mean? Let's go. First card uh, is the Agumon variant. Uh, Gilmon. Gatomon. This is a pretty cute one. I like the art style. This is by Koki. But yeah, I've heard good things about it. A lot of people are in love with his artwork. His or her artwork. Their artwork. Pretty cool. A lot of dragons as you can see because this is a dragon theme deck. We have our first rare which is the Hyper Infinity Cannon and then another rare. Is that supposed to be normal? Is this an all art? Nope, this is Break Dramon. Okay, so it's supposed to be two rares. Um, I got confused, it's my first time so hopefully less slip ups now. But yeah, Break Dramon as well as the Hyper Infinity Cannon. Pretty cool, pretty cool. And let's move on to the next one. There's a cleaner cut. Next pack. Oh, I love this artwork. The Agumon coming out of the laptop. It's the Megidramon option card. Another one of this guy, which I really like. Dracomon. 
Oops. Um, oh no, another one of the Hyper Infinity Cannon. And then, ooh, our first hit. Uh, okay, oh shit. I don't know what to do. Our first hit is a secret rare. I know for sure this is not the alt art, but this is the Imperial Drummond Fighter Mode. Secret rare, one of the two secret rares of the set. Maybe I should have showed you guys before I sleeved it, but <laughs> at least we got one of the secret rares. Um, I was kind of disappointed because you know, uh, you guys know I got the Imperial Drummond starter deck, but that was with the like blue green imperial Drummond. so i i was excited i thought you know you could actually play it together but obviously this is a uh, purple red which means i don't think you will ever be able to play them together i thought you know i know there's a different theme but i thought you at least like have one color overlapping maybe such that you can actually play both of them um but yeah our third pack Pretty cool. I wonder if I'll be able to actually make a a deck just from these cards because they don't seem to overlap with a lot of things. Dino Beamon and another one of the Breakdramon and oh another the SR. This is the SR Metallic Dramon. Really good. The parallel art for this is so cool because I think Kina the Tamer is in it. And I don't really remember where, you know, um is there a a, a season where these four is it heavenly dragons are featured in because I so want to watch it if there is next pack. Akumon Patamon, I think. Surely I can't be wrong on that, right? And this is the Trial of the Four Great Dragons, so the option card. Um, eight cost is pretty high. I don't know. I, maybe I should just not comment, but the art is pretty cool. You can see all four of them black and white sort of pretty cool and then a uh, rare wormon so nothing in that pack but you can't get good stuff in everything let's move on i think this is pretty good way to open packs Raumon, I think I love the the darker uh, nature of it because I guess this goes into Megidramon instead of like Galamon. Q Agumon again. Oops. And this is Slayer Dramon. Pretty cool. And uh, Jazza Richmon. I guess this should be the Metallic Dramon level 5, I guess. I could be wrong, oh my god, it would be so bad if I was wrong. But okay, pretty cool set, pretty cool art. I just wish I knew more about this Digimon, but you know. Opening packs is just fun regardless, you know. Especially when the art's so cool, even though if I, I'm, like, I'm not familiar with the game. Keep putting it in the wrong place. Another Patamon, Gilmon, Gatomon, another one of the Heavenly Dragons, and oh, our next SR, that is the Volcanic Dramon if I'm not wrong. Yep, this is the regular SR Volcanic Dramon, so before I sleeve it, take a good look at it. Falling is really nice. I think there's some texture. Can't really tell from the lighting, but yeah, it's pretty cool. The alt art for this also has Hina the Tamer inside. Um, I wish I got like one of it, but the truth is, 
from this set the card i want the most i don't really care about the rest because i don't really play it but um the alt art hina the, the the tamer itself because i don't know maybe it's something from the pokemon game where we actually get more hyped on getting full art trainers and supporters instead of the pokemons themselves okay next pack I also don't know like how many of each that we're gonna get. So you see this is the the I don't know promo box topper is just foil where this is not so it's pretty cool still. You know I like the concept of being able to sort of jazz up your deck even with like the rare uncommon cards um, to foil or some alt art because I think we want to make the game accessible but if you want to create some collector value I think alt arts are the way to go instead of you know limiting the 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 really strong cards to be very expensive and then it's not very uh, good for people who want to play the game to to do it. Um, you and this is the rare. I think this is this is Dorbrigmon. I think it has an alt art which is very nice as well. Um, seems like it's pretty useful, but it's very nice art. And then another rare for the Azulongmon. Is this one of the dragons? The, the four great dragons? I'm surprised that it's a rare. But yep, pretty cool. I'm looking at the rare list right now. And I think there's still, there's still a few that we haven't seen yet. Quite a lot. I think almost half we haven't seen yet. Raumon, Agumon. I'll go. I'll, I'll get progressively faster with the commons at least. Uh, Angel Woman, the rare Wormon, and oh, I think this is Dark Dramon. So another SR. Oh, this one definitely has some texture on it, if you can see. Oh, that's so cool. You see like, because I think it might be either going through the atmosphere or space, you can see the, the lines moving when you move the card. Oh, that's so cool. And it reminds me, it's going to be so rude to say it, but it really reminds me of the Phantom Blaster Dragon from Vanguard. Oh, I'm just so fascinated by this. I don't know, you know, moving of the, is it representing air or like, you know, stars in the sky? So cool. Let's get it sleeved up. So we do have our three SRs, three non alt art SRs, and then we have our secret rare as well. So that's pretty cool. And this is the rare. We still have four packs to go. I don't think there's anything left. But you know, completing the, the rare set might be good, maybe. We're still on our first pack. Oh lord. I mean, for, uh, we're still on our first box. Oh lord. Maybe we should speed things up a bit. But like I said, don't mind me, this is my first time doing a pack pack opening even though I've really considered doing them a lot in the past. Really exciting. Uh, oh, this is War Groundmon, another card that I really like. I like the Groundmon line actually. Oh, first Vmon I think from the rare uh, set. Um, yeah, it's red and purple. Pretty cool. And it's playing the Digimon TCG game. Is this, does this count as breaking the fourth wall? Like Digimon's playing the card game, probably not right. Based on how Digimon, oh, it <laughs> it felt so much like an, an SR, but it's just a rare Megidramon. Really cool, goes with the the Gilmon line. Um, definitely will try to make use of that because it looks so cool. The art art is also pretty impressive for that card because I think it's very ominous with like. There's another figure behind it. And it really shows like the how terrifying Maggie Dramon should be. Three more packs for the first box. We're starting to see most of the cards that we've seen before now. Although they are nice. 
Um, Peldramon, the usual uncommon. We have the rare, we've seen this already. Slayer Dramon. And then another SR? Question mark. Uh, I think this is Hydramon. I don't think this is an alt art. This is the regular art um, SR Hydramon. So I'm pretty confused right now. Is it normal? Oh no! Okay, so I just checked it out. This is a parallel art. Which is why it's so cool. I was just so fascinated by it. I didn't bother to look it up. But this is a parallel art and it's a really good one based on, like I said, the, the, the stars moving. So this is a secret rare and alt art and then these are our three SRs, I guess. Okay, that's cool, that's cool. I'm so sorry, I'm an amateur at this, but <laughs> that's pretty cool. Now there's probably really nothing. Oh, let me clear this first. Agumon, Gilmon, Crowmon. And this, I think this is another one we haven't seen yet. Entmon, pretty cool, pretty cool. And another rare that we haven't seen. This is Magnadramon. The art's really cool, like even, I, I actually thought it was another SR, like I keep thinking they are SRs but you know they actually put in the effort, you can see, you know, things that cross the border, usually in other games if you cross the border you're probably like an SR, VR kind of thing, but this is just a rare and the art is actually so good already, which is one of the things I love the most about Digimon TCG, even though I don't really play it. Now last pack for this box. break it a bit just so that we don't touch the cards uh, oh our first copy of Hina um really want the alt art version of this card because it's so cute and yeah, like I said, it's something about like the trainer tamer full arts from Pokemon that kind of bridges over if you like. This is probably something you want more in to spice up your deck rather than the the alt art of the actual Digimon you're playing because potentially this can cross over to more decks and but yeah, very nice. First copy of the rare and another one. Another one of the Jazzerichmon. I'm so sorry if I'm butchering the name. But yeah. Is that all the rares? Let me take a look. Let me take a look here. Oh, there's like two or three more that we haven't seen yet. But for this box, our three SRs, Hydramon, Metallic Dramon, Volcanic Dramon, the very nice Alt Art Dark Dramon, and the secret rare uh, Imperial Dramon Fighter Mode. So pretty good. Let's go into our next box oh better speed things up i'm so slow i'm hoping to edit this quickly we have the same thing of course it's not going to be different 12 packs box topper let's kill our hopes first by getting rid of this Oop. And that's done. Um, another one of the rares, Ground Dramon. So these two are our box toppers. Never ever get your hopes high because that's supposedly a very um, low rating. I think people aren't really confirmed with what's the rates for that Imperial Dramon alt art. But yeah, let's get into it. I just want my Hina alt art. That's the... <laughs> The thing I want the most. Right, let's get back into it. The first pack of the second box. I really don't like this guy's art. <laughs> I know I'm gonna get a lot of hate for it, but 
compared to the others that's really one of the weaker artworks i've seen but you know it's, it's good to have diversity in it right yep our first rare i think this is one we haven't seen the tank Dramon. pretty cool and we've definitely seen this slayer Dramon. Here we go. Now I understand why people pull from the top because it doesn't screw up your rest of your stack. So I guess this is what season pack opening people do. Another tank drum on. And oh, our first alt art Draco Mon. This is one that, you know, whenever we talk about alt arts, obviously you want you know the picks such as like your SR all arts or even your secret rare all arts but I, I like to think after that I'd rather not get all the, the strange all arts I like to get the baby all arts I know this is not Digitama this is like the level 3 one but you know it's so cute because usually the full art version of this they seem to spend a lot of time and they look so much better than like another level 4 level 5 kind of all art our first one it's cute like it this is also one of the ones from the set that i probably would have preferred in terms of the all arts but yeah next one i think now we're only lacking two more cards to finish the rares so it's gonna be really strange if we don't actually get it Now a professional from the top. <laughs> Still like this card a lot. Another one of the Antmon. Pretty cool. And do we have something new? Nope. Another one that we've had before. Azulong mod. I don't know how some people actually get to edit the uh, pack of winnings down maybe i should cut out a lot of these let's go the war ground mon azulong mon and the first sr of this is one that we already had the metallic drumon so now we have two of it nice i just realized it's black and red <laughs> thought it would be like yellow i don't know should stop talking before i sound more stupid get these out of the way agumon Please just give me my Hina alt art. I think there's only one more chance, right? Based on the fact that we've already got our uh, alt art Draco mod. And. Ooh! Rare. Please don't tell me this is considered an alt art. And the worm mod. Give, let me do a check. No, this is not. This is a rare. Oh, it's not the same guy. <laughs> So sorry, it's different. So it's just two rares. Lord scared me for a moment. And the other thing about the art is like you can see other Digimons in it. Agumon, Patamon. It's pretty cool. Like it's almost like a crossover even though it's pretty much the same IP, but you seldom see in a lot of other card games artwork that you know uh, other cards maybe they don't want you to mistaken which is the the card the the character in the card Atomon, Graumon. 
uncommon this is another Edmon and this is Hydromon I think but this is the parallel Hydromon I'm kind of disappointed because that means that I won't be getting my Alt Art Hina but this looks so good as well I would wager to say it's an Alt Art SR right so you can't be too mad about that but the art and the style isn't as cool as uh, the Dautramon but okay yeah definitely can't be too mad about that and we still haven't seen all of the rares yet like I said we're still missing that one uh, I think Imperial Drummond option card um, hope we get that eventually still have like maybe five packs to go Peldramon This is the Lavo Garitamon Is it something that we haven't had too? Maybe And the Heavenly Dragons options So that's a new one, pretty cool Next pack And here we go And definitely should be able to craft some of the decks, right? Dino Beamon, Slayer Dramon, and another of the SR Volcanic Dramon. Pretty cool. Already had it, but maybe I can put it towards a deck now. Getting sort of duplicates like I have two metallic Dramon and two volcanic Dramon and two hydromon so maybe it's just destiny that I have to play those decks and I get those oh that is so bad <laughs> I didn't see it though but I know it was looks like something good maybe it's just Dramon Patamon Graumon, Dracomon, another one of the evolutions, and yep, definitely a new SR that we flopped there. And this is the Dark Dramon. Oh, it looks so different. This is the regular art Dark Dramon, which is the SR. Let's compare it. That doesn't look anything like each other. It's supposed to be the same card, but you know what? It's still pretty cool and essentially still pulling two of every card that I've had so far. So I think that means these three were from the first box, these three are from the second box. So we don't have any more SRs. Our secret rare and alt arts are done. So I don't think there's going to be anything left, but let's just plow through them. The last three packs. And then we're gonna get... We still haven't cleared all the rares. Oh, what the... This is the rare. Yep. We've seen it already. Dobrikmon. Still pretty cool. Still looks like an SR. Another rare uh, Brickdramon, if I'm not wrong. And still don't have... The last card we're looking for is the Avalon's Gate. Somehow still not here. Gilmon. I think that's Flame Dramon. Oh, this is the Digitama. 
Ah, this is also one we haven't seen. Mega Seedramon. So, okay, we really one card off completing the set. And that's going to be the Avalon's Gate that we're missing. Nope, we get the Vmon. One last card, one last pack to get that one last rare. Will we get it? And here we go, last pack of the pack opening. There's definitely no more SRs. Um, Maggie Dramon? Avalon's Gate? No. Magna Dramon. So, honestly, amazing art, as you can see, from regular rares. But we're still missing that one rare let's lay it out just to double check it and we only got one hina from the whole thing like regular art hina let's recap on the hits that we got the srs from the second box we got the dark dramon regular uh, volcanic dramon and the metallic dramon we have the hydramon from the first box another metallic dramon another volcanic dramon and the all art slash secret rares we have one of the all art hydramon maybe we take a closer look at that it's nice art don't get me wrong i was just very disappointed when like it killed my dreams of the all art hina one all art dracomon it's a little cutie, I don't mind having this actually. The Alt Art Dark Dramon, when you compare it to the regular Dark Dramon, once again, look at the art. And lastly, the Secret Rare Imperial Dramon Fighter Mode. So, pretty stoked. I don't think, I think the first, the first pack was definitely much better. But honestly, I would don't mind it as this. Like I said, it's mainly about collecting the cards, looking at the art, pretty cool set. A lot of dragons, which I like. You know, in a lot of other games, dragons would be so hyped, but somehow in Digimon, it's not really. Um, and, you know, two of a lot of the cards that we've seen, look at that, two Dark Dramon, two Volcanic Dramon, two Metallic Dramon, two Hydramon. Maybe the game's telling me to play. And yeah, and our two box topper, uh, Uncommons, both uncommons. So yeah, two boxes of the EXO3 Theme Booster Draconic Raw. What do you guys think? I think we did pretty okay, especially with these two. I definitely enjoyed opening the packs. The only thing I would have wanted is the uh, Hina, but other than that, pretty content. Maybe I'll start making some decks and playing against myself and comparing it to the old um, not old, comparing it to the theme decks that I got, you know, the, the Hakmon as well as the Imperial Dramon, the, the Blue Green Imperial Dramon deck. Uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. I really enjoy opening packs. You know, if you want to see more, you can let me know. Uh, I don't really play the game, but you know, opening product, even if you don't play, is really fun for people who, you know, have a cardboard addiction. Uh, yeah, so. If you want to see more Digimon TCG content, do make sure to drop a like on this video. Comment down below as well what is your favorite card from the set and let me know. Then I'll try to make more Digimon TCG content um, if that's the case, if you guys really like it. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more. Um, I mainly make mobile gaming content, play a lot of Domas's plays, but try to do a lot of other things on the site. And yeah, subscribe. Hope you guys like the video. Stay safe. Bye-bye.